Okay, let's get some more of this thing done. Um, I wish I was doing a five by five one. <laughs> Instead I'm doing a seven by seven by five. Theory me, kind of, not, not quite, because they overlap, but whatever. Um, last time this area was really expanding for me. Um, and I was expecting it would like cascade and tell me a lot about this stuff, but it wasn't really doing that much at all. One, one thing I noticed when I was looking back at this was that if, what was it? If I have a five here, basically I was trying to take this two into account. In fact, let me switch to the pink. Um, so if there were a five here, which there could be, um, that means there can't be a five there. But it also means there can't be a seven here because if there were a seven here, then that would have to be five. But there can't be a five because there's a five there. So that actually rules out, I think a five there rules out two of those numbers. Does that lead anywhere? That means that can't be a five. Um, uh, cool. <laughs> Uh, that means that can't be a six as well. So yeah, that's now two numbers as well, three and four. Wait, why did I say that can't be a five? That can be a five, for sure. That can't be a six. It can be a five, it can be a four, it can be a three. But that means that can't be a five, that can't be a four. At this point, this would have to be a six as well, actually, wouldn't it? because we've already got seven there, but it has to be bigger than a five. So then that would be, that would be gone. So that would have to be a four. So that would have to be a three, and that would have to be a two, and that would have to be a one. That probably tells me what this would be as well. Because what's left here? Three, five, and four. Three, five, and four, but we've got a, th three there, so that's going to be a five or a four, oh that's a one, three, five or four, three, five or four, well, four can't go there, three can't go there, three could go there or there, five could go there or there or there. Yeah, there's still too many options, I think. Also, this might be just going down the right path, so I'm not gonna find a contradiction anywhere. Is there something I can work out? There's a lot of constraints on this row. Where's the one gonna go on this row? Not there, not there, not any of those, not there. Wait, is that one? That feels too easy, but I know these are not, that these are the numbers this has to be. So that's not, so that's one. Wait, okay. Okay, <laughs> maybe, hopefully. Does that help me figure this thing out? Probably not, probably doesn't give me anything. <laughs> What else is missing from here? Is there another number missing from this? Seven, no, oh, no, seven's there. But I think all the other numbers are represented in this set, aren't they? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Okay. Ah, well, there's one thing to fill in. Is there anything missing from this set? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nope, it's all there. About this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all there. Okay, does that one give me anything new? Or is it just like a little a little treat? Didn't I have something about the fact that this and this had to be a four? Why was that? 
because I need a four in this row and it can't be there. So this and this has to be four. And then that meant that was covered. So then the four is here and here, yeah, okay. But I couldn't figure out which one was a four. I think I'm gonna stick with this area. I think this is gonna do something soon. Like eventually I'll know what this is and that will somehow help me somewhere. <laughs> Don't exactly know how, but we'll see. Five, six. So the the other way around that could go, if that pair is fives here, so then that's six, that can't be five, then that's one, and then this would have to be, so that, well, this is annoying because everything's bigger than one, <laughs> except one, so it's not that useful of a constraint. Uh, one, two, three, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Need to go here and here and here. But they could go anywhere at all. The interesting thing is that has to go, no, what am I about to say? I don't even know. We have four numbers here. So there's possibly two gaps in the sequence. Is that right? So three, seven, five, three, one. Okay, yeah, they can be all separated by a, by a, a digit. Hey, I got a number already, but it was basically already there. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Could go anywhere. Is there some kind of cross grid thing I need to do again? Is there some kind of cross thing I need to do? Cross grid thing I need to do again. For there or there. That's the that's the main obvious cross grid number I can figure out at the moment. So it takes me all the way back over to here and tells me that this or this is a four. Why can I not figure out which one that, that is? Because I have barely any information about these two columns and these two columns. It would cut the four out from there, but so what? There's a million other options. <clears throat> what about other numbers? Okay, two is covered up to there. Two could go there. Or any of these. So it doesn't necessarily tell me that two goes anywhere over here. What about this? Two. 
It could basically be anything up here. I know that that's seven stone, so there's a seven in one of these four. It could go anywhere. I know there's a one of the five here. So, so five is done here. Or, or even one is done here. One can't go there. So one goes there or there. Which one would it be though? If one goes there or there, then let's say it goes there. One goes there, so that'd have to be seven. So that'd have to be one. So that'd have to be seven. And that would have to be one. That's fine. That wouldn't be able to be a one. So what? Uh, I think I went too far there, yep. Uh, if that's a one, And that's a seven, and that's a one, and that's a seven. Basically the same. Is there guaranteed to be a four here? It doesn't really matter, does it? Because I know there's gonna be a four there or a four there. I was thinking about does it block off one of these, but doesn't very it doesn't really help, I don't think. So so what number can this be? this were a one, then this could be a two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> basically anything. If this were a five, then it could be a, just a six. There's got to be more to figure out over here. There's got to be. Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, there we go. But then I don't know how it's going to cascade back out at all. Like even if I did figure out like loads of this stuff, so what? Doesn't help me breach this. Really, does it? Well, it would tell me which of these was a three and five. So maybe. Mm. It doesn't feel like it's massively going to help. Let's think about every possible number this might be helping me with. So let's okay. Let's just do every number. So let's just start with ones. So one we have in this column, this row. Sorry, and we have here, and we have here. So that's done. That means, okay, and we've got a one there and we know the one's over there. So the one is basically sorted, except for knowing which position it's in here. Um, then what about on the next row? So we know there's a one there and there, which means these are not. So we know there's a one here, which means this is covered, which means and that can't be a one because it's not greater than one. So then, oh, let's get rid of that. So this or this is a one for sure, which means these are not ones. Let's put it in. I know I'm supposed to have some better notation than marking things that can't be numbers and whatever, but whatever. So now one is there. Oh, I mean, the one could be there. <laughs> one could be in one of those three. Yeah, yeah. A 
don't think I could see any way of figuring out which which one would be one. Okay, um, <clears throat> then twos. So twos were covered along there. So that means one of these four is going to be a two. How can I figure that out? And not that one. Uh, so one of these three is going to be a two. There's something here that could help me with that. Don't think so. And the problem is because it could be in the middle, that means I'm not necessarily done for this row, but I might be. And there's not necessarily a two there, is there? No. Okay. Um, wait, was that just two on that row? Yeah, about two on this row. So two is going to be here. So that and that are covered. That means there's a two here, 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 or here, but not here. Well, I guess I could put that in as well. Sure, why not? Can't be a two or seven, can be a one, three, or five. I know it's not going to be a two or seven. I've written down which numbers it can be. Whatever. <laughs> Two, two, or two. Obviously it needs to be in a separate column to the other two, it's in the other row. But either way, they're gonna be like here, here, or here, but just not the same column. And that doesn't tell me anything about this side of things. Okay, next one, three. So three is here. And here, well, well, no, not necessarily. Three is difficult in this row. Three and five are both difficult. Let's do three on this row. Three is guaranteed to be there because it already is, so that's covered. So there needs to be a three here somewhere. The problem is the only constraint I have on this row is that. Well, I mean, there's these, but they're too loose. They're way too loose. It's basically the same problem for everything. I need a four in that row, but where can it go? Not there or there, but it could go there, there, or there. Same for this bit. Although the four could go here, like somewhere in these two. I know that those can't be four, but so what? So interestingly, okay, here's something. One, two, three. So this has to be four or higher. Four, five, or six. They can't be six because that, that would make that a seven. They can't be. So it's four or five. Four or five. Interesting. So then this is a five or six. I don't think that goes any further than that, but it's at least something to add. So four, five, six, seven are in these. If this was seven, that would make that five. Is that an issue in any way? I don't think so. If this is six, that'd be four. Is that an issue? No. If this were five, that would be either a comma seven, it could be a three, sure. Um, and if it were four, that could be a six, yeah, it could be, or it could be a two, sure. Although, hold on, if that were a four and that were a two, that would mean that can't be, that has to be a one, so that would be a six, and that's totally fine. Well, 
about this one then? Because I figured out this one about here. It helped that I had so much constraint over there, I think. Yeah. All I know is that this isn't a one. This needs to be bigger than a one. It needs to be bigger than a two. So three, but not four, we've already got four. Five, five and six, three, five and six. Let's just put it in. Let's just put more numbers in. And hopefully eventually we'll narrow something down. Three, five and six. Because it can't be a two because then that would have to be a one, but it can't be a one. Three, five and six. Sure. And what can go here? What do we need on this row? Well, it's, we don't know because of this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. So not, not a four here though. Three, four, five, six. So three, five, six here as well. Three, five, six. Does that tell me something? Three, five, six go here, three, five, six go here, five, six go here. I think it guarantees that the three is gonna go in one of these two. Is that true? If this is a five, then that, okay, let's just do it in pink. If this is a five, then that's not, that's not. So then, one, so then we've got three and six across two things. So one of these has to be a three, one of them has to be a six. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the confidence <laughs> with solving this kind of puzzle to just be like, oh, of course, that's how the logic works. Um, so I have to second guess myself a lot. Um, so I think a five there means that there isn't a five there. So that effectively makes these two three and six, three and six. Therefore, three has to go in one of these two. Sure. And similarly, if there's a six there, we'd have to be what three and five in those two. So three is in one of these. Three is in one of these. One and seven are here. Does that tell me what this is? Is this two? Is this guaranteed to be two? Wait, I already know that. I already know that's guaranteed to be two because I've written down all the possibilities for the other, all the other ones. Two isn't covered. Okay. Uh, did I get the right color? Yes. Cool. That means that's not two. Ooh. That's a one, we've got some numbers. Uh, and that's a six. Okay. Kind of annoying though, because it doesn't tell me anything about that anymore. I was hoping that would be a two and that would make that a six. But oh well, uh, is there anything I can cross out immediately? Maybe not. What about this two here? So that can't be a, let's do pink again. That can't be a one. It could be a two, in which case that'd be a four, that'll make that a five, that'd be a six. I mean, these are three and a five. Hmm. What's left for this column? Uh, wow, I just drew right in the middle. This column, one, two, three, four, five, and seven. Four, five, and seven. One of the four and five here. 
So seven's here or here. I guess that's just a reflection of that one. Either this or that. Is there a reason that can't be seven? That would make that five. Is that an issue for any reason? I don't think so. Seven is in one of those two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Here and here. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Four goes there or there. I already knew that. What do we have left here that's two apart? Three and five, sure. Four and six, no. Five and seven. Three and five or five and seven. Both of which have five in them. That's interesting. So the possible numbers down here are three, five, um, five, three, or five, seven, seven, five. Which means that there's going to be a five. Like five is guaranteed to be here, right? Yes. Which is interesting because of this. Five's going to be in one of these. Is this the X-wing scenario? It is, isn't it? Five's guaranteed to be here and there. Therefore, we can cut out fives from all of this. I think that's how the X-wing thing works. But it doesn't really help me. <laughs> so what? Uh, well, if I know five's not there and five's not there, this could help me actually. Five's not there, five's not there. So that means five's here or here. Can I work that out? Yeah, in fact, I'm going to say that's useful. That means that this is guaranteed to be three, four, or six, right? Five cannot, cannot be there. I think that's correct. Because if five has to be here, five has to be here. So that means these determine each other. And so these two columns are done effectively with fives. Okay. That means these two aren't uh, one. Well, no, that's not one anyway. That's not one. I don't think I need to write that down. Three, four, six, three, four, six. Can I figure this out yet? Five is in those two. So five goes in one of those two. Which one? Is there an issue with putting five here? Because that's three. That can't be that. That can't be that. That makes that six. That makes, I might hear a lot of barking next door. Uh, three, six. One seven, seven one. Or is there a reason that can't be five? That would make this three or six, three six. I 
Uh, definitely filling some stuff in though. Getting somewhere. <sighs> this is such a difficult puzzle. <laughs> taking such a long time. Uh, I think I'm in my fifth hour, if not more, sixth hour of just doing this. There are like, there are whole video games that are shorter than this. <laughs> this is just a pen and paper puzzle. Okay. Okay. Actually, can I do the X-Wing thing there? I can't, can I? Because cause can't five be here? Is there a reason I'm saying that five has to be over there? Oh yeah, because every combination of that includes five. Every possible combination for this includes the number five, yes. So five is there, so five's not here or here. Which okay, so what does that leave for here and here? If five is not there, that leads that leaves three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. Three, four, seven. Seven doesn't go there, so it's three or four. Right? This is three or four. And this, this can't be a five, so this is three or four. It's the same, right? Yes. Because we've got one, two, and six, so we've got three, four, five, and seven. Oh wait, what about seven? Where does seven go? Seven isn't guaranteed to be here. So these are three, four, and seven. Oh, that's not seven. Okay. Uh, that's what I was missing there. Is that I know, I know that's three or four, but this is three, four, or seven. All right. That means four absolutely goes there or there in this space. That doesn't really help me with a lot. Is there some connection between this and this that's useful? If that's a seven, that can't be a seven, so that can't be a three. Great. So what? If that's a one, that can't be a one, so that can't be a five. Uh, I know it can't be a five anyway. What are the options for this space? Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Sure. Uh, about these again. So one and three, why is that not, not an option? Because there's a three there. Oh, and also because there's the one there, three and one. Could be fine.
That would make that uh, make that a seven and that a one. Oh no, wait, can't do three and one either because there's a one there. So one and three cannot be here. Um, because one and three are already in that column. So two and four. Definitely can't have two there, but we could have two there. Four there. That would make that five, that would make that six. Sure. Three and five, can't have three there, but could have three there and five there. Be that four, that be that five or six. Four and six, can't have six there, so it'd be six and four, but that's fine. Yeah, too many options. I don't think I can resolve anything here. I know that the fives go there for sure. There's no one place where one thing has to go. Once again though, I know that none of these are five. Is that useful for this thing? It both means that none of these are five and none of them are one. So not five, not one. Which I know anyway. No, I don't know that anyway. Uh, yeah, I do know that anyway, because if this is a five, then that's a one. And so therefore this is covered. If this is a five, then that's no okay. It's it's good to know that this is can't be a five or a one. Yep. In either order. So what is left for here? What are the possibilities? One and five, <laughs> two and six, three and seven. Um are any of those also not allowed right now? See that one's not two and six though. Any reason why that would not be allowed? Not really. Three and seven. Nope. Too many options. What have I filled in recently? I did get some stuff. I really need to figure out where this five goes. Is it there or is it there? If it were there, I'm sure I've already done this. If it were there, it would not be there. So we've got three, six, three, six, three, six. Which is totally fine. We have a three here, a six there, and a four there, or something like that. Three, six, four, sure. What about over here? That makes that not a five. That makes that a six. Is that a two? That makes this entire row done. One, this column. One, two, three. It's weird how easy it is to mix up row and column for some reason. You'd think it'd be similar to like left and right, but I guess some people do mix up left and right quite a lot, but I wouldn't normally. Although I have done. I've noticed sometimes when watching my own videos, I notice that I say left when I mean right. So I guess it, it does happen. It's just, yeah, I don't know. And maybe it's more likely to happen with rows and columns because it's like a rotational thing rather than a one side or the other. I don't know. It's like a slightly different thing to visualize. Anyway, okay, so that would do all that. That would mean that can't be that, that can't be that. 
that can't be that, that can't be that. That would have to be six, that would have to be four, that would have to be three, that would have to be two, that would have to be one, that couldn't be that. Uh, five and one here, I still can't figure out. I don't think I can do it. But it might be like the right thing, but I don't know. What are the possible numbers here? Maybe I can find a pattern. Possible numbers here are not two, because two's already in that row. Three, sure. Four, five, and six. Three, four, that's a lot. Shouldn't really be writing down four numbers. Three, four, five, and six. Possible numbers here are three, four, five, and six. Possible numbers here are three, four, five, and six. Ugh. Possible numbers for this space, not one. I've already done this. Two, three, four, five, six, so many. No, two, three, four, five. What was the reason that couldn't be seven? Because I would make this six, no. Oh, because we know the seven's there. So two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Cool. I think it's none of this is like projecting out anywhere. I remember at the beginning thinking this would be the thing that would just begin the whole thing. <laughs> nope. I was naive. Can I figure something out if I say like, what if this were a six or what if it were a two? If this were a six, this will all be done. Uh, so six would have to go here, here, or here, which it can. If it were a two, this is all done. Two would have to go here. Cross that out, cross that out, and that out, and that out.
What do I even do? If this were a seven, that would be a five, that would be a one. That would be a five. That would not be a five. There's nothing I can figure out about this, right? Is there another X wing I can do somewhere, maybe? So I've got a five here and a five here. Five there, five there. But there's also a five there, so no. That breaks that. Also, that's a potential five as well. <sighs> Two and six. Nope. One. Nope. Three, 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 three. Can you do a <laughs> next wing between all of these things? I don't think so. No. No, it doesn't doesn't tell you that the two columns are occupied. It just tells you that two of those two columns is occupied, which isn't helpful. Uh, but is there something? I need a row that's got two of a number in it, five and five, but okay. Anywhere else, anywhere else. There's just so many empty ones here, though, which are effectively one to sevens. Uh, I can't see any more. What's left for this space? Quite a few things. Yep. Copy a two, copy a two. Oh, because it is there. Yep. If that's a two, then that's a six. I've done this way, like, ages ago. That's a two. What does that say about this? Not a whole lot, does it? It's not a seven. It's not a two, it's not a six, so it's one, three, four, or five. One, three, four, or five. All of which would be fine. Except, no, four would also be fine, because that could be a one. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Stuck, 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 stuck. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could six go there? It could, right? Sure, it would get rid of that and there, but that would make that two, that made that four, that made that three, that'd be two. Does that always end up being four, three, two? I swear everything I've done here makes that always four, three, two. Like, is there a reason this can't be six? That can't be two, that can't be six. Uh, can't be. 
could be we well, have yeah, whatever. Um, that'd be five. So why do I always end up with a four three two there? I don't know. So interestingly, seven can't go there, seven can't go there. Can't go there, or oh, I know it can't go in those two. Seven could go there, there, or there. All right, is that interesting? Where's the next thread at all? <laughs> like I figured out a lot of constraints here, but I haven't really found out too many numbers. I guess I figured out this stuff down here. Maybe, if I'm not making a mistake anywhere. But I think I might be making a mistake. One, two, three, four, five, seven, four, five, seven, four, five, seven. Where do they go? Where do they go? Since four is either there or there, that means not both three and six are here. So therefore, th one of three or six is over here. This is way too fuzzy. <sighs> Can I figure out anything more in here? If that were four, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be, that would be three. So what? I feel like also having this, um, that and that together. I feel like there should be some strong implications about this row, but I don't know what. Yeah, I'm struggling. There must be some big final deduction they can make that'll suddenly explode everything, but where on earth could it be? I know that can't be a one. K 
can be a two. Make that a one or a three. It's just so, there's just way too many options I can see. As soon as I start going down, I'm like, this path just opens up. Four, two. Still so many options here. Four, two. Still so many options here. I do have the situation where, could that be a three still? It could, couldn't it? I was going to say, do I have another? Uh, no, I don't have another thing at all. An X Wing. I think any of these could be three as well. All I know is that I've got guaranteed four and four. Must be something I can figure out around here. Like, I gotta be able to finish these off. I'm pretty close. Or oh, this one. It's just like a set of pairs in each one. Well, not quite. Not at all, really. So in this row, two can go here or here. Column. So you can go there or there. Two, 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 two. A two here would. I did this recently. Two, five, three, six, two, five, three, six. Oh dear. I'm really not seeing anything at all. Like, come on, surely this is going to fall together soon. Sixty-three, two, six, seven. Six, 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 seven, seven. Which one of those is going to have seven? Either of them. Three, three, which one of these two is going to have three? Either of them. Okay, if this were a three, that would mean that couldn't be. So what? Well, that would make that a seven. That's six. That two. So that would be done. Don't see a contradiction anywhere. That couldn't be three anymore, so that can't be five. Uh, it could be five and then seven here. Uh, no, it can't be five, because there's also seven in that row. Could it be a seven? That means that a five, yeah, sure.
I'm scared I'm just like ignoring a part of the puzzle that I could work some stuff out from, but I can't see anything. There's this combination lock business that I had a bunch of possible combinations for. What number shows up in like all of them? If any, six, no, seven, no, one, no, 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 no number shows up in every single one, right? Three, four, no, five, two, no. Yeah, and the one and the seven here cross out half of them. Oh, I'm stuck. I need to take another break. I'll be back at this soon. And uh, maybe we'll find something. I don't know what. <laughs> it's such a long puzzle. <laughs> I'm definitely taking a break from these illogical numbers after this one. Okay, yeah, next time.